More than three dozen first responders are now on the scene of a fire off of Jordan Street and Shreveport's Highland neighborhood. KSL News 12's Christian Picos just arrived at the scene moments ago. Christian, what are you seeing there? Yeah, this house right now has been burning for at least an hour, I'm told by witnesses on scene. You can just check out the sheer size of these flames right now. It has obviously invisibly spread to other parts uh, of this structure that was burned. Right now, from what I'm seeing, it almost looks like two structures have been torched by this fire. You can see some of the trees that are burning as we speak as well. A huge presence from, uh, from first responders, from firefighters, from police officers right now working to battle this flame. Adrian, Dominique, you guys have to remember that right now, the city is dealing with very, very low water pressure. We've been talking about these water issues now for days, and this is just a consequence now with this fire raging right now. Firefighters are working as hard as they can to douse the flames. I'm seeing a crew to the far right over there. One, two, three, four. It looks like six firefighters holding on to one hose, uh, trying to hit this, hit this fire right now. I'm only seeing it hit with one hose. I'm not seeing multiple hoses trying to douse the flames right now, but uh, this is the Highland neighborhood. I was able to talk to a couple of people on scene. I'm, I'm trying to get more information right now. They told me that it's been burning for at least an hour right now, but Adrian Dominique, these flames, they're hard They're hard to, to, to believe. I mean, this obviously the structure is a total loss, but it, it does not look like this fire is going to be doused anytime soon. Obviously, we are going to work very hard to find out how this fire started, but most importantly, God forbid if anybody was inside at the time of the fire. Adrian Dominique, this is this is this is crazy. I haven't seen anything like this probably since first Bozier went up in flames a couple of years ago. Christian, if you can hear us, uh, stay with us really quick. You mentioned the low water pressure that the city is still mm -hmm. dealing with. Do you see if that's having an impact in that area? I know that Highland was one of the areas that was supposed to be bit brought back up with pressure. All I right. believe it was today, so we don't know if that's happened already. Yeah. I mean, I see I can see well, what's here. Let's go to let's go to the right. You see a crane uh, that's being lifted from one of the fire trucks right here. That's slowly moving, hopefully to address the flames over here. Uh, again, there I see one fire crew on the far side of the structure with one hose battling the flames right now. I mean, it, I'm not a firefighting expert, so I don't know how much water pressure should be normally coming out of one of these hoses, but it looks like there is a fair amount. But Guys, one hose is not going to be enough to fully douse these flames as we speak. I mean, it's you see trees that are burning right here as well. Then obviously you're very concerned about nearby structures that could catch fire uh, as we speak. I mean, it, it looks like from what I'm seeing right here from my vantage point across the street, there is a ladder truck that is aiming another hose from above. Oh, we have. A, OK, hey, Cody, let's go over here. We have a water tanker. It looks like this is a water tanker from St. Tammany Parish that's coming in right now wow. uh, to bring in some extra water. Now it says 9,000 gallon tanker right now that's coming in to bring extra water uh, to battle this fire. So I think that answers your question, Dominique, because yeah, yeah. they definitely need some help yeah, right Christian, now. Yeah, Christian, I would imagine that probably was in the area to help in right. case of yes. some sort of situation like this or even to help with water. Christian, I, I, I know you just got to the scene moments ago. But do you know if anyone is hurt in this fire? Adria, I wish I could answer that question. I, that's the million dollar question right now. And if there was anybody inside, let's pray, pray, pray that they were able to get out because this home is, it, it's no longer. I'm gonna try to go over a little bit to the far right side just to see if I can get a better vantage point right now. Um, guys, give me give me one second. Okay. Yeah. While you, I'm just trying to see let's... if there are any other fire hoses that are being all that right. are being used. While you figure that out, Christian, we're going to stay on this shot right now. Producers, if we can just stay on this shot. This is very yeah. fluid. It's very active. Let's go ahead and recap this situation. This is happening off of Jordan and Magnolia. This is in the Highland area. Not far from the Line Avenue area. Right. And you can see that big trunker, that big tanker that just came in right in front of you on that screen. Mm -hmm. That was brought in from St. Tammany Parish to help because as you know, right. we're having those water issues right now in Shreveport because of the winter weather that we saw last week. And and I'm not really seeing a lot of water I, I being not, used right. to fight this fire right now. And what you're seeing with yeah. that tanker is what we saw with many of the, you know, when the hospitals needed water and those water tankers would come in and kind of fill those towers and replenish and help with the water pressure. So um, thankfully, uh, if this is not a local water tanker, thankfully it has been in our area yeah, to help. And with it was this. here at the time of need. Right. Christian, what are you seeing right now? I know you were trying to get a closer look. 
Yeah, so right now, Adrian, I'm seeing uh, what looks like Shreveport firefighters hooking up their hoses. You can see it right here to this St. Tammany Parish 9,000 gallon tanker right now, obviously to get water uh, to operate their hoses. The big concern right now, Adria, at least uh, from my perspective, is if there is not enough water to get this massive fire under control, is there a risk that fire embers spread to other locations as well? I'm seeing a lot of neighbors who are standing outside right now uh, Christian, watching this, this fire any... very, very calmly, I have to say. Yeah, are they doing anything to try to protect any of those structures that are close by? So I'm going to jump in get out of the shot just for one more second. Um, from my perspective, there is, where I'm standing right here, there's a home to the left right here. So a home, uh, the address is 442 Jordan. Uh, it looks like That it's, home yeah. looks fine for the most part. I don't know um, if you- There's a tree that's right next to it, which is sort of concerning. You, you, you Guys, know, Christian, I'm listening to you. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear what we're hearing uh, just over some of your uh, reporting there. It just sounds like, you know, um, and it looks like uh, at some parts the fire is, you know, oh. engulfed more. Yeah. And is hey, that just Adrian, one Dominic, structure just or two? Fast. Um, they are now, it, so it looks like it could be two structures. Right now you have a Shreveport water tanker that just turned on uh, that is shooting water from above. That's trying to douse it right now, but guys, it, it doesn't look like the water pressure is very strong no, not at all. Um, compared to how I've seen these used in the past. Um, you can see it dousing the, some of the trees that have now lit on fire. Um, I mean, you have fire crews standing here trying to figure out, you know, the best way to, to handle this situation right now. But I think this just tells you uh, what's what's happening right now and how serious the situation is. The fact that they're bringing in a water tanker from St. Tammany Parish to fight this fire, it, this is a big deal. And it seems like two structures uh, went up in flames. You can see chimneys that are still standing by themselves uh, as rubble just smolders all around them. Yeah, Christian, I'm looking at this image that you guys, you and Cody, are showing us uh, out there from the scene. And if you can look uh, at the very top right part of your screen, you see that ladder truck that's up there dousing that water. And you're right, Christian, it barely looks like anything is coming out from uh, that. It's like it's like a very small stream. Yeah, yeah. You're exactly right, Adrian. Yeah, that's going to be tough um, to fight a fire the, this, the of this magnitude. Part too is, I know, and the, the troubling thing too is, Adrian, you see these hoses, these three foot fire hoses that have connected to the back of this 9,000 gallon tanker, but there's not water flowing right now. Like there, they're, they're, these hoses are just laying uh, connected to, to, the, to this tanker, but there's no water flowing right now. So I don't, I don't know how much water they're really using right now to be able to douse, to douse this fire. I'm, I'm very concerned that this could, could potentially spread to other places. It does not seem contained at all. We're looking at video right now, of, you know, kind of up in the air from the ladder truck there. It looks like they are uh, trying to douse it from from above. Right. Right. And, and uh, I. I would be interested to find out, Christian, and I know that, that you're live with us this morning, but uh, whenever we go to break eventually, I'd be interested to find out if there's anything that firefighters are doing to try to protect those other homes. This is a residential area, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's Adrian, this is like, I kid you not, maybe like three-fourths of a mile away from KSLA. All right, so we have yeah. a new fire truck coming in right now from West Feliciana Parish. Wow, wow. So these people, obviously, it just these firefighters. Arrived, it just arrived a second ago. Yeah, these firefighters are here in town to help with the water problems right. or any other issues that we may be facing. So to see these guys being called out right. to help with this is just, that's probably not what they were expecting to do right. when they were here, probably just to help in case. Oh, wow. What's going on, Christian? What Tell are you what seeing? seeing? There are, so I'm seeing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing, uh, these these just incredible blue flames burning at the very base of the fire right now like it just seems like this is just such a deep burn right now and it is raging like they are going to need to bring in much more help than what they have right now to fully be able to bring this under control and my it, it's just a horrible situation for everybody all right if you could find out also christian i don't know how close this is to the other homes in the area but i don't know if any neighbors are outside watching this if they're trying to be moved to a safer area because uh, we could just only see what's burning right now but uh we're gonna we're gonna go to break and then we're gonna come back to you uh this is fluid this is active and this is breaking